Hi and welcome to day three of staying calm, centered and focused at Christmas. In this video today we're going to be tapping on having patience with others. <laughs> you know that time of the year when everybody's anxiety levels are kind of a little bit higher that sometimes we can begin to lose patience with others who perhaps are not playing the game properly, not getting into the Christmas spirit the way you would like them to do. So I want you to think of somebody at the moment that you really perhaps need more patience with <laughs> and let, measure on a level of, of, of one to 10 just how impatient you feel with them at the moment. You might pick one or two people. Just see where it is, where you feel that. Okay, here we go, tapping. Even though I feel this level of impatience, I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I am feeling very, very impatient right now, I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though my patience levels are being tested right now, I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. I have no patience. I can't find any patience. This person is really pushing my buttons. I have no patience. My level of patience has deserted me. I'm feeling very impatient. I can feel this level of impatience in my body. This level of impatience. Feeling impatient. Feeling impatient. Trying hard, but I feel really impatient. Feeling this level of impatience. I can feel it in my body. I'm not feeling patient at all. This level of impatience. I'm not feeling impatient at all. <laughs> Take a deep breath and let it go. Now, little, just a little thing before we move on. If you're standing in the queue at the supermarket and someone's taking a long time and you're feeling your impatience right, you remember you can tap on the side of your fingers, okay? Just squeezing the sides of the fingers where the, the nail bit is and saying it to yourself. So you can hold, hold this impatience, my impatience. Take it to yourself while you're standing there, just putting your hands down. <laughs> and that sometimes that works. Or you can always do tap and hold. Just tap and hold. Tap and hold. This impatience. My impatience. Feeling so impatient. Feeling so impatient. So you can kind of, you might, we'll just, you could skip the underarm top of the head if you wanted. <laughs> if you're standing in the line of the supermarket. All right, let's do a reframe round now. So I want you to kind of shift it and just really feel that sense of calm and patience coming into your body. Okay, measure that. All right, tapping with me. Even though I'm often a patient person, however, my patience is being tested today, I choose to feel calm and focused. Even though it's really easy to feel impatient, I choose to challenge myself and just feel patient. Even though I'm feeling that level of impatience come down somewhat, I choose now to feel peaceful and calm. Tapping. I choose to feel peaceful and calm. I choose to release this level of impatience. I choose to feel peaceful and calm. I choose to release this impatience. I choose to send this person love. I choose to feel patience. I choose to feel centered and calm. I choose to feel patient. Take a deep breath, hands on your hips. I just want you to feel what that's like to feel that level of patience in your body. Feel that calm wash over your beautiful white light working through your body. Just imagine kind of the cells letting go, just letting go of that impatience. See yourself as being a calm and patient person. And take a deep breath and let it go. I hope that helps when somebody is really pushing your buttons and you just don't feel so patient anymore. Talk soon. Bye for now.